guys, welcome to A Year in the Life of Autism. So we've just got back from Charlie's school, super, super awesome meeting. Um, so thanks for having us over there, it was absolutely fantastic and it was an absolute pleasure. Um, I'll jump in straight to what Charlie's been doing and then I'll fill you guys in a bit. So, uh, so Charlie's had a nice walk in Forge Valley this morning, lots of crying when asked to sit down and do his work. A lovely afternoon. Well, we know he had a lovely afternoon because we had the pleasure of sitting into Charlie's class for about half an hour, maybe 40 minutes, and it was fantastic. Um, basically, uh, they were out playing in the garden. Charlie's playing in the garden. He was going to the slide. He was just happily giggly. Um, he wanted to show us everything. He was so excited. Um, yeah, he just didn't stop smiling. didn't stop giggling. Uh, and then the sort of do um, a choose time on the smart board at the end. Uh, it was Charlie's turn, and this just blew our mind away. Um, so Charlie was instructed to make his choice, and he stood up, and he went to the smart board, and he tapped on it for the one that he wanted. Okay, that might not seem a big deal to everyone, but that was just incredible to us. Like, Charlie's just made a choice. Charlie's just communicated a choice that that he just shown us what he wanted, and oh, it was just it was incredible. Uh, and I feel really privileged that we got to see that. Um, yeah, it was, oh, it was just absolutely amazing. So, big thanks to Charlie School for allowing us to do that. And um, the meeting side of things was fantastic. We sort some really cool things out. Um, hopefully we can help push Woodlands forward in terms of all the things they're trying to do to help, um, you know, these send children and... You know, particularly at that gap when they leave school or age of leaving school, um, a lot of children just get dropped because they, you know, they they they're not confident enough and they don't have the skills to, um, necessarily go out and find a full time employment or even half time employment. What Woodlands plan to do is sort of help bridge that gap between leaving school and sort of employment. So, hopefully, we'll try and help them with that as well, um, and also with their raising funds because you know they, they fund all this pretty much by themselves so uh, and there is very much a need for it you know they've had lots of applicants for this uh, new project I'll you know I'll fill you in more properly as, as I get more information about it um, obviously me and Amy's just learned about it um, you know and they're all very excited over there so it, it was just an absolute absolute brilliant day an absolute pleasure I got to see my son making choices and playing and happy with his friends and it was an incredible experience and it was definitely one that'll stick in my mind for the rest of my life. Amazing. So thank you so much for that opportunity. Um, there's not a lot more I can say to be honest guys because we have obviously just been doing that for the chunk of the day. Uh, we got to travel back with Charlie in, in his mini bus so he was quite happy. He was just watching out the window, watching the world go by and he was singing his head off and it's just it just put put us in a good place right now. Um, it was just yeah, it was it was great. I, you know, I can't stress that enough. So yeah, but that's pretty much about it in terms of uh, what we've been up to today, guys. I say I'll release more information as we as we get it ourselves, um, and hopefully, if you guys would help us push um, Woodlands Giving pages because we're really trying to raise some funding to. Um, you know, to sort of help these, these, you know, these, just help people, you know, help these kids who were sort of pretty much being dropped up to the age of 16. Um, <clears throat> not by them personally, but just generally out in the population, you know, finished school at 16, it's like, well, what do we do now? Um, and, you know, I really want to help them bridge that gap. So, yeah, so you can check out their, their, pay, uh, their links to their, their giving pages. Uh, there's a Givy page and a you know one for the triathlon which one of Charlie's um, <clears throat> teachers is doing. So we're going to I put them on on our page. I've put in the link on this, but I do this on the iPad. And as you guys know, the iPad isn't in the best of health. It's not always the easiest thing. Um, but yes, so yes, that's about it, guys. But if you like what we're doing, please click subscribe. That'd be super duper awesome. Please, 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 if you could. Um, over on our page, uh, Young Life Autism, if you could help us share these links and get the word out and what's been going on, that'd be super duper awesome. And please check out our page, obviously Young Life Autism, Autism Central, check out our friends over in Autistic Genius and give them a, a thumbs up and a like. And we'll catch you guys tomorrow, hopefully.
with another fantastic day. But thanks for watching, guys. As always, take care of yourselves, and let's silent words be heard. <laughs>